So, uh, yesterday, I was just, you know, looking at how my videos were doing, and then I saw this comment on my how many rings are in Polysonic on Roblox video. And, uh, it's a comment by Captain Go Gaming, and he said, we need this updated, there are more rings since the update. So, uh, I'm just thinking, they updated the game. So, uh, yeah, you know what? Sure, I will update it with a new video. So, here is my part two. And, uh, here we are, ladies and gents. It seems like the game has gotten updated, so this guy isn't a troll, sadly. But whatever. So uh, yeah, now let's go ahead and start with the Green Hill Town. Yes, this is new to the update. There's really not a lot of new stuff here, but this is one of the few things that's new that there is. The only rings that are here are these two sets of 14 rings that then give me 28 rings total. The whole devil doesn't have any rings in any of the rooms, and none of the houses have any rings. So now I'm going to continue with the Green Hill itself. All of the rings that were in part one stay present. And just a heads up, I'm not going to be collecting any rings that are from part one. Because then that just wouldn't make sense. Because I have to add all the new rings. And if I add any of the old rings, then it's just going to be inaccurate. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind. So, yeah. So there's very little new ones, but I was able to find a few. Oddly enough, there's literally just a random floating island in the sky for some reason. I had to get 37 old rings that were there in part 1 before I got up to the island, so here's a minus 37 on screen. I ended up getting 44 rings on the island. The next set of rings I ended up collecting was in this new beach area. That, by the way, looks really cool in my opinion, actually. But I had to do some specifics up to get up there in the first place. I had 28 updated rings before I went to the route to get up to the waterfall, which is where the rings... I need to get art. I had to get 17 more rings that were already in part one, so now you're gonna have to see a minus 17 on screen. Cause this is an entirely different clip, but keep in mind at the end I do actually know what I'm talking about. I do know how you know I'm gonna have to you know update all these rings and everything. I know how I'm gonna be able to add them. And the waterfall has 17 rings on it, so there you go. Our next stop is going to be the secret lab, and as it was before, there was not a single ring there. But there was actually a few notes, and one of them explains the barricaded orange portal that you can't go through. And the monitors say something, but I don't really remember what it says, and it doesn't matter regardless, because it doesn't add to your ring counter. The Badlands, much like the Secret Lab, but the same as last time, doesn't have a single ring there. Like the Secret Lab, there's another note that talks about the crystals that are seen on the land, but besides that, I actually really don't think that anything else at all has changed. And the next zone that I'll be checking out is going to be Marble Zone. There's really not much major differences in the zone, which is kind of to be expected, for me at least. The first thing that you'll notice is that there is these two little platforms at the start. And unlike before, they each have a ring on them. So, there, there's, you know, two more rings, I guess. The next place I went to while playing was this... I don't even know what to call it, honestly. But, you know what I'm talking about if you're looking at the screen, so it doesn't matter. And sadly, there isn't any new rings in this little... I guess you could call it... Um, underground area? It's really not underground, but well, yes it is. So yeah, uh, underground area, I guess. Oh uh, yeah. While exploring, you'll likely see this little spot on the hill. We had to collect some rings that were here before the update, so I finished the challenge, then checked the spot in a separate clip. And well, it turns out that there is not just some underground area, as I had thought there was. It's just a brown square of caution tape that has a sign that says, under construction on both sides. And that's just about all we have for Marble Zone. So now let's move on to the last area, which is the Test Zone. I ran around for a little bit. I didn't end up finding any new rings anywhere. I took this location on the green screen, which I originally was going to use for the picture on the thumbnail, but we all know how history played out. That area with a crap ton of rings is still present, but it turns out it wasn't updated at all, which, well, isn't very surprising. So uh, that's all we have in the game. So adding up all the new rings that I found from all the zones, it ended up being 88 new rings from this update. Originally before, in the first part of this video, there was 299 rings in the game. But adding the 88, it turns out that now we have our total of 387. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you in my next video. And also, major thank you to Capigo Gaming for informing me about this update, because otherwise, I would have never really made this video, unless if I decided to check out Polysonic, which would be kind of unlikely. Since the OG got hacked. But whatever. And uh, with that being said, peace out. And uh, I'd recommend watching part one if you haven't.
Bye.